So I wanted to create a very quick video on how you can classify uh, businesses and score your businesses um, within your lead list so that you're only reaching out to the right kinds of businesses. Um, so the problem that this solves is essentially when you're building lead lists from databases like Apollo, LinkedIn, and so on and so forth, a lot of times you'll get a lot of businesses within there that when you actually do review them manually, especially if you're building larger lead lists of 500, 1000 plus, when you review them manually, you realize they're actually not, they might fall under the criteria that you've put in, but they're not actually like a B2B business, right? So, um, you know, to kind of manually check this is going to take you loads and loads of time. Um, and also you don't want to be reaching out to businesses that basically aren't, you know, they, they could be B2C, you want them, them to be B2B. Um, so there's no really easy way to do this until now within Clay, where you can use AI agents to essentially, um, pull the information and then classify them whether or not they're a B2B or a B2C, essentially. Um, so this happens automatically and it also does it for an extremely low cost. Uh, I'm going to show you how you can actually do that and set that up here. So um, here we've just pulled like a regular lead list, right? Um, nothing, nothing special here whatsoever. Um, and it's very simple. There's two steps, but you could do this again with any database. So if you pulled the info in from Apollo, you're probably going to have a certain percentage, no matter how many like key, like keywords, criteria, and all this kind of stuff and filters that you use, there is going to be some element of the data that is incorrect. Um, so in order to kind of uh, cater against this and make sure that you're not reaching out to the wrong people, this is where you use the AI side of things. So there's two steps, very simple. Number one is we pull a description and summary of what the company does um, from their website. So we scrape the website to pull a description. Um, and then number two, we just quite literally classify it if it's a B2B or a B2C. In this case, if it's not, we put no fit. If it is B2B, then we put it as B2B. This, again, it's just a very simple step, but you could do this with any kind of classification. So if you wanted to classify the industry that they're actually in, um, that's another use case for this. Or if you wanted to score the business or you name it, this is just one of the use cases or many use cases that you could actually have for this, um, where you, you pull the information from a database and you want to basically verify how accurate this actually is so that you can use it in your outreach properly. So it's really, really simple. First step is I'd like to visit the website. This is literally the prompt for to copy paste it, visit the website, and then we just put in there their domain. I'll put a summary between 200 and 250 words of what this company does, what they put on their website and so on, provide a list and overview essentially don't output anything else. And then what it will do is it will quite literally pull their website and then it will just say, this is what the company does in the response, right? And it will give you like an overview. They are a global specialist in even mobile applications, da, 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 da. And it will give you some information, essentially an overview or summary. So that's the first step is we want to get a description. We want to basically pull a bunch of information and data as to what the company does. You could do this another way by using Zenrose and just scraping the website. I just prefer, or we just prefer to use AI, uh, Clagent basically. Um, I mean, it's extremely, extremely cheap, um, but they accomplish basically the same thing. You're just pulling and scraping information from a website. Um, so that's step number one. That's if you don't have the LinkedIn description. If you have the LinkedIn description, you can always just classify it based on the LinkedIn description. But a lot of times, if you actually want the best, um, the best uh, results, then you can combine LinkedIn description and their company summary or website summary. And then you should basically get a really, really good overview of what the company does. Once you have that, then this is where you can classify them. So again, the use case for this could be, you could classify the industry, you could classify some of the keywords that they, that they use or come up on their website multiple times. Um, you can score the leads here, here in this case, we're classifying them if they're a B2B or B2C. Um, and if they're obviously, if they're B2C, then we don't want to reach out to them. If they're a B2B, then we want to reach out to them. Um, there are so many different ways that you can actually use this um, to kind of target and filter your list even more than just using a regular database. So the workflow here would be pull from the database, whatever database that could be, filter them through. And then once you filter them through, then you have better fit prospects to actually reach out to um, based on whatever your criteria is. But I just wanted to show you like a two-step process here. So the next step uh, here is now, in this case, review this company. Right, and we give it the company name uh, and classify it as either a B2B or no fit, a B2B company. And then we just give it a basic criteria of what a B2B company is. Um, obviously sell products and services to other businesses, output only B2B, don't output anything else. And then we feed it the description. So here is the description of what the company does um, based on the information that we've pulled. And then we will run this through. And again, we just run this on GPT-4 Mini, um, which is create a prompt um, and create a, a save it as a template. Once that's done, then it will give us a really, really good indication. You see most of the companies here are B2B, but you can see some of them are not. So for example, if we click on this, 
uh, free voice, free voice and video calls, variety messaging. Uh, interesting. Yeah. So this, for example, this is perfect. This is B2C, right? And again, just like anything with AI, you want to always manually check the first 10 to 20, maybe even up to 50. If you've got a good hit rate and you manually check and you go onto the website and you go, okay, cool, that's correct, then you can run it for your entire list. So always make sure to manually check first and then run it for the rest of the list just to make sure it's actually correct. And if not, you can obviously tweak the prompt. But again, this use case is basically just to filter your initial database list that you have. No matter how many filters you actually put in on database on Apollo, you'll always get some things that are misclassified and just put in the wrong categories. So here you can actually get up-to-date data by scraping their website and then classifying it with AI for a fraction of the cost. Before, you would have had to have got someone to basically go onto the website, double check what they actually do, and then input that detail into every single one. Whereas now, you can do this pretty much auto completely automatically, you just insert a prompt and all you have to do is add leads, and it does it for an absolute tiny, tiny cost. So I hope this video is useful. It's just a quick bit of info, a quick tip on how you can verify, like not verify, but filter your list down um, so that you can get more accurate prospecting lists. So um, yeah, again, it's particularly useful if you're using outreach, uh, like building outbound campaigns and you might have like, um, you know, higher spam rates because you're reaching out to people that aren't necessarily the right fits um, and, and so on, right? So this can help combat that by actually filtering your list and being more segmented, more targeted without having to go through the extra effort of doing it manually by actually doing it automatically and building a more targeted prospecting list. Um, so I hope that helps. If you've got any questions, feel free to comment below and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.